I'm so glad to be back teaching you a class. I'm Blanca Bird, and this is Thrive Well for Diva and Dudes, and we're going to do a yoga series. Please breathe, enjoy, and celebrate this yoga experience. Let's start in Tadasana. Put your feet firmly on the floor, broaden your chest. Let your hands be active and strong down beside your body. Feel energy at the back of your neck. Let your head float on the top of your spine, broad in your chest. Inhale. Feel your feet pressing into the earth and rebounding through the crown of your head. Inhale. And as you exhale, relax and weight your body into the earth. With the next inhalation, stretch your arms, extend and lengthen up. And we'll exhale our hands to the heart. For the next few moments, we will be here in this practice. Not to worry about the past or the future, will be here in this moment, in this practice. Broaden the heart, lengthen the spine. Let your feet grow heavy. Let's extend both arms, interlacing the fingers and pressing out, rounding the spine. Inhale and lengthening up. So you can do this standing or you can do this in your chair. And exhale. And we'll stretch one arm up and open, reaching as high and around as far as you can go. Trying to keep your body straight ahead, but reaching, lengthening through the foot or through the hip all the way out through the little finger side of the hand, opening the shoulder, inhaling as you stretch up, exhaling and releasing as you stretch down. And to the other side, inhale, and exhale, breathe. Feel the heart lift and the shoulder open. And then we'll bring both arms up, lengthening up, dropping the tailbone, broadening the heart. Exhale as you press out and down. And find yourself again in a good, strong Tadasana. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put a chair close by and we're gonna practice a salutation to the sun using a chair. You can also do this on the ground with blocks or without anything else, without anything at all. But I thought that you might enjoy this practice. So we're nice and tall, broadening through the chest. And again, we stretch up, inhaling. And as you exhale, Bring your hands to the chair. Broad in your heart, lift your chin, lengthen and open your chest. Exhale and arch the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, arch. Inhale, open. Exhale, arch. Come to a flat back, and we're gonna step one foot forward just under the chair, and I have all four feet of my chair on my mat, so it's not gonna slip. I'm gonna step back and bend my front knee so it comes right over my ankle, and broaden my chest into a nice, strong lunge, drawing my shoulders back to my bottom, lengthening through the crown of my head, Breathing. 
Exhale, I'm gonna step back with that front foot all the way to the back and stretch my tailbone and breathe and lengthen the sides of my body. Inhale, I'm going to press into the chair and broaden the heart. Exhale, I'm gonna step forward with the same foot that I stepped back with. And then I'm going to step forward with the other foot and let myself fold forward. Maybe I can even drop my head to the chair and let my hands come toward my toes, bend my knees and roll up on my spine. And exhale my hands to my heart. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And as you exhale to a flat back, we're going to step back and broaden the heart. Lunge, lengthening through the crown of the head. Holding onto the chair firmly, stepping back, lengthening the spine. Lead with the tailbone, lengthening both sides of the body, stretching back. Inhale, coming forward, pressing forward, broadening the chest. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. And we're stepping forward and stretching the other side. Stepping forward, releasing over, releasing, bending the knees, and rolling up all the way up. So when we do that on both sides, it's a complete body stretch, which feels so good and helps us really relax and get to know our body. Spread out your toes, roll your shoulders open, and take a big wide stance. As wide as you comfortably can, make sure you're very stable. Reach with your little toes, open up your heart. Breathe. Now we're going to rotate in with one leg and out with the other. We're going to broaden and open the heart and come into triangle pose. So I'm going to stretch as high as I can, lengthening the underside of my body and reach out, 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 and down. Maybe I touch the ground and maybe I touch my knee and it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're lengthening the side of your body, that you're breathing and that you're enjoying the breath within your body. Press with the back foot and rise up. We'll turn in and turn out. Now here again, you can use the chair. Make sure that all four feet are firmly placed on your mat. So let's do this pose with the chair. Stretch. Exhale. Lengthen the underside of the body. Breathe. Gives you a nice supported stretch and it's very stable. When you're very stable, it's easier to breathe and find joy in the practice. Push, rise up. Turn in, turn out. Bend that front knee. We'll come to warrior two. Broadening through the heart, looking out through the fingertips. Breathe. Feel your feet firmly planted, lengthening through the crown of the head. 
look out past your fingertips. That's your drushti, your point of concentration. And inhale and exhale. And we'll turn the other way. I'm going to bend my knee right against the chair. And here I can really tell if I'm turning my knee inward, not a good idea, outward, really hard on the foot and the hip. I want it straight ahead. So the chair gives me something to use. I can really tell. Am I really straight ahead with my knee? Yes, I can see it. Now I can firmly sit down in the pose, broad in the heart. Breathe. So we can use these props as very quiet teachers. Breathe. Inhale, and turn, and step together. Feel yourself nice and tall and strong. Take a big wide stance. And we're going to rotate in and out again. Broaden, bend your front knee just like we did in Warrior Two. This time we're going to extend. So we're going to do extended side angle. We're going to reach way out. You can bring your forearm to your knee as long as your knee is going out towards your little toe. You can bring your, your hand all the way down to the ankle on either side. Open up. Extend that arm. Stretch it over. If you feel in this pose that you're closing up, bring that hand to your chest, to your thorax. Open the body and stay here. Much better pose. You get the advantage of the breath. Press and rise up. Turn in, turn out. Let's do it with the chair. Broaden. You're bending the front knee just like we did. We can see that we're very strong, steady. We lengthen over. We have a very supportive, stable element. Opening, broadening. So we can use the hand here. We can bring the hand to the opposite hip. Or we can stretch through that little finger side of the hand all the way from the toes up and over. That glorious feeling. Turn and exhale. Prasarita Padatanasana, wide footed forward bend. Breathe. Walking your fingers forward, step together, roll up on your spine. We'll do it one more time with the chair. So I'm going to move the chair so at least two legs are on the mat. Take a big wide stance, broaden, exhale, folding over. So I can fold to the seat of the chair. I can fold to the back of the chair. Whatever is comfortable for you. If you're seated in another chair, you can just lean over and stretch forward on the chair. Rolling up, stepping together, lengthening, rising up. So we're ready to come down to the ground. I'm going to come to the back of the mat, stretch up, come down as tight as I can to the front of the body. Walk myself forward. And come into downward facing dog, tipping the pelvis, lengthening the spine, pressing especially with the thumb and forefinger, releasing the heels, and then releasing the knees to the earth. 
Let's do downward facing dog with the chair. You can do it again if you're not using a chair. So we're exhaling and we're going to stretch by stepping forward, reaching that chair, stepping back with both feet, both all four feet on the mat. Tip the pelvis, stretch and lengthen. Breathe. And we'll come down to the earth. So if you're using the chair to come down, hold on, bend your knee, both knees. And then we can push it gently out of the way and we're on the ground. Let's do a little cat and cow. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. So we're arching the spine, feeling the movement, concave, convex. Then come to a flat back, just wiggle, move, shift, undo what you've done. And then we'll come to a comfortable seated posture. Sometimes it's really hard to get your knees to drop down on the mat. So you can sit up on a block. You can sit up on a blanket. You can sit up on something that allows your hips to drop open. Just makes the experience more comfortable allows your mind and your body to relax. So inhale, feel your spine long, your hips released. You can close your eyes if you wish. Feel the breath. The breath that we share with every living soul on the planet. We all share our breath. And let's turn. Come across the body. Bring your hand behind you. Lengthen the spine and turn. Across we come again. Inhale. Exhale. center. We're going to fold over, walking forward, releasing the head, neck, and shoulders. And come off that block, change the front foot to the back, find your sit bones, come across, hand behind you, lift and turn. we go. Inhale, exhale, and fold yourself over. Walking back up, find your sit bones, lengthen both legs. So we're lifting and opening, broadening. Both legs extended. We're going to bend one knee and cross it over. And we'll twist again. So we'll be tall and we'll turn, 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 turn. Maybe you can walk that elbow out and across and turn a little further. back to the center and trade sides. Come across and turn. And back to the center. We'll, we'll bend both knees, 
broaden our heart. We're going to bring both knees up, balance. Extend both legs. I'm going to turn this way. So we're really using the center of the body, broadening, lifting. hands behind your knees, lift and extend. Maybe you can extend one leg, maybe the other, both, oars in the water, and release. Breathe. Let's do that one more time. Lift, broad, lift. Here, if that's good, stay there. One more, extend. More still, big strong pose. Exhale. We'll extend both legs, find our sit bones, broad in the heart. Dandasana, seated staff pose. Nice and tall, hands behind you, lifting your heart, rolling down. Lots of energy through the legs. Feel the breath in the body. Breathe. And we're ready to, we're almost ready to rest. So I want to offer you a rest with the chair. So you want all four legs on the mat again. Keep it secure. And then we're going to put the feet up on the seat of the chair. Roll the body down. Broaden the chest. Open the hands. Release and relax the chest, the hips the knees, ankles, feet. And you can do this rest without the chair. It gives you a little bit of lift with it. And let your organs settle. And use your upper arm to push up and come to a comfortable seated pose. Many of the modifications and poses that I used for this practice are from a book called How to Use Yoga. By Mira Metta. There are also series of practices in here, one every week for 10 weeks, if you want to build your own home practice. I miss seeing you in our regular classes, but since we're at home, we have the opportunity to develop a home practice. Thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed this practice. And I hope to see you soon. Namaste.